took. Did uh, Peter Judson a good year out of the ring. But, uh, after a, a run of seven fights without losing. In fact, last, last lost in, uh, in uh, 91 to Ian McGurr. Yeah, this is pressure from uh, Sugar Gibberu, but he's coming back, Judson, with the left hook. And that was a great left hook. Took it well, though. Last time we saw Sugar was in the and summer of 93. Going. In Portugal, when he lost on points over six round of Michael Ayres. Remember what they called the ball on the shore? Thanks, World Title Fights. So was it Ron Essett in, uh, in the Algarve? It was. Nice golf, not a very good fight. Fourth round. And Gibilaru made one of the even things up by taking that last round. Good right hand again. His defence is not that great, but he's... Uh, I think he's starting to get on top with, with this pressure. very demonstrably trying to pick the pace up now and starting to work the body which I think could pay dividends Johnson to his credit still keeping that jab going under pressure Is it blood also on, on Judson's shoulders up in the eye of yeah I, well, I, 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 I think I think I think that's still from Gibilaru's nose I don't, I don't think he's cut anywhere else he isn't cut anywhere else. No, it's uh, still from the nose. Shift another good left hook from Judson. And all the time, just like a little annoying reminder, that left jab of Judson's hardly ever out of Gibilaru's face. It's an accurate shot. Going to be a good point scorer for him. So Gibilaru's corner trying to wave him in. He's really got to step in and start winging. And he's just going to be picked off now. Yeah, Judson's starting to get the measure of uh, Sugar now. Moving backwards nicely. And yeah, that was real confidence from Judson swaying away from the waist as Gabilaru came in. And he's, he's making the form of champion miss quite readily now. And he, there's another cut open up on the bridge of Gabilaru's nose. You can, you can sense the frustration. Finally, it didn't go to lay a glove on Judson in this round. Yeah, and the jab's superb from Judson. There again. This is textbook stuff. Rolling away. Well, they say boxing's a noble art of self-defense, and my goodness, Peter Judson really demonstrating it in this round. Superb boxing display. I think Sugar's beginning to tire. Well, he saw a little shuffle of the feet trying to set himself again, but um, he is looking a little bit laboured, and he was taking stick. Yeah, good round there for Jason. Starting to look a little bit of a sorry state over in that corner. Well, he well he would if you could see him. There we go. Just a little bit despondent and dispirited. That's a great left there from Judson. The pressure's coming from Sugar Gibbleru. Should they clash the heads? Yeah, coming from the left hand side. Well, inconclusive, I think. Now. And Judson, really, if he boxes in rounds five and six as he did in round four. Second out. Round five. Was it a counter? Fifth round, a little bit of a swelling, I can see now, underneath Gavillaru's left eye. 
trying the screw shot there, Judson twice again, and a great right hand, Chuck, Chuck Gibilaru. Oh, and another one. And Judson, with the confidence now, will come down off his toes, plant his feet, and really start firing off his right hands now. Mustn't get overconfident. Jab is so good. Right at the start, we've seen Judson two or three times on Pro Box, and he was unbeaten on televised fights. We haven't seen him for part due to his uh, his absence from the ring, and part due to the fact that we just uh, haven't been there to cover his fights. So we haven't seen him for a couple of years. But well, my goodness, he's come on a, a ton, even with that absence. He certainly found his measure now in the fight. He's hardly being hit. No. And he's achieved the near impossible of silencing the Liverpool contingent in the crowd. And that gives you some idea of how much he is on top now. And Gabilaru, again being waved on by his corner, but when he tries to come in, Judson's simply not there. It was then. That was a decent shot from Gibilaru. That jab still finding the mark from Judson, though. Yeah, Gibilaru trying to clear the blood out of his nose. Judson in comparison. Oh, no. Good right hand, good left right combination. Treated to no respect at all now from Judson. He's trying the right uppercuts, left hooks. He's really varying the punches. And it's one of these occasions that fighters dream about. Everything, everything he tries, or pretty much everything he tries, is coming off. Yeah, he's full of confidence. <laughs> he, when he came out in round one, really fired up. Lost the initiative in round three. Gibilaru had a good third round, but uh, that was really the only blip. Usually the case when a, a fighter after three or four rounds finds the mark is because the other fighter is tired. But Jibiru looks quite strong. Well, I think one more good positive round from uh, from Judson. We'll have this in the bag for him. I've got him. I've got him four one up. It's a good combination for Judson, left hook and right hand in the middle of the round. So clearly shook Sugar Gibilaru. And Gibilaru looking well as well he might. A little bit worried, a little bit resigned to the fact that he's going to lose this one. Got to pull something very very dramatic from somewhere and he's shown scout signs of being able to do that so far final round then of what has been a terrific little super featherweight contest sugar gibilaru former british champion in the black and white peter judson and keith lee in yorkshire in the yellow and gibilaru knows he's got to have a big last round and to his credit he's come out and he's trying to do exactly that Well, I think uh, Judson just needs to keep the boxing going, as I saying, Dave, and uh, he'll take this verdict quite comfortably. He's won the last three rounds, clearly, and he's boxing beautifully. Swaying back from punches, just uh, leaning, leaning one way, then the other. Clipping him with a left hook, left jabs. Yeah, and Gabriel just hasn't really been able to get his measure. Hasn't been able to out, out fight him, hasn't been able to out box him.
Although he started with, with great determination, Judson, he didn't really show this boxing ability, did he, until over the third. Oh, really? He, this, this demonstration in boxing started in the fourth round after Gipilaru had certainly, on my card at any rate, taken the third. Yeah, he's not a big puncher, but uh, he's got every punch in the book. Yes, yeah, just two wins inside the distance for Peter Judson. He's trying the left hook, left uppercut combination. Not very orthodox style of boxing, but uh, very effective if you can use it. Good left, right. Left hook again. Still coming gamely forward, still throwing shots, but without any real self-belief. Judson backs him up, clips him with a right. And once again, makes Gibilaru miss. Well inside the last 30, and I think this is going to be a really, really good win for Judson. Yeah, he's boxed very well tonight. Absolutely, absolutely, Judson's got it. And I will think he'll have that by some comfortable margin too. Gave him five, five of the six rounds. The other round to Gibilaru, and that is a super win for Peter Judson. No arguments from the, the pro Liverpool contingent in the crowd, and we'll get the uh, score from Alan Hughes. And ladies and gentlemen, the referee Keith Garner scores the contest: 58 and a half to Gibilaru, 59 and a half to Judson. Peter Two round margin. I had it uh, a little more comfortable than that. Well, a lot more comfortable than that, if I'm to be honest. But justice has been and done. And Peter Judson, a very, very Sugar good winner Gibilaru. against the former British super featherweight champion Sugar Gibilaru of Liverpool. Now, this from round one, Nicky. This was where we got the idea that uh, perhaps there was going to be a little bit of an upset on the cards here. Yeah. Very good combination punches. He was a bit over it over eager there but uh, great combinations every punch in the book and looking for it too not just throwing with with no uh, he's really looking for every yeah shot you there. could see he was so fired up for that fight and it paid off 